Welcome to another episode of Code Blue, a weekly podcast dedicated to all things unexplained and unidentified, brought to you by bluebook.tv. Check it out. It's free. I am Thor, and thank you for listening. The topic of this episode, Tic Tac drones are of alien origin. Here's why. In December 2017, an article in the New York Times sparked an immediate interest by stating the Navy recognized the reality of unidentified flying objects dating back to 2004 when a U.S. Navy Super Hornet chased after an unidentified flying object in the shape of a Tic Tac. More amazingly, in 2020, the Navy released the footage of the event and acknowledged that the 2004 incident was not the only one, because a group of tic-tac-shaped drones had swarmed four Navy battleships about a hundred miles off the coast of Southern California in 2019, near Channel Islands and San Clemente Island, home to sensitive military facilities during the nights of July 14, 15, 16, and 17. The UAPs, short for Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, were said to travel alongside the Navy ships at a cruise speed of 60 knots per hour during poor visibility conditions of less than one mile. These Tic Tacs were also witnessed by the crew of a Princess cruise ship about 20 miles away around the same time. They were described by eyewitnesses to be shaped like Tic Tacs and all witnesses agreed there were no visible propulsion systems. And while the eyewitness servicemen referred to them as drones, these UAPs behaved like no drones then or currently commercially available, capable of close proximity flight following at controlled and consistent airspeed, distance maintenance, altitude and direction proximity, and without visible propulsion systems, jets, screws, or rotary blades, let alone maintaining such accuracy a hundred miles offshore in IFR conditions, according to Admiral Michael Gilday, Chief of Naval Operations, and without any one within a 20-mile radius capable of remote controlling their behavior. Admiral Gilday told NBC recently the Tic Tacs remain unidentified to this day and added that the U.S. Air Force, in addition to the Navy, along with other nation militaries, have all reported seeing similar Tic Tac-shaped UAPs and that they were being investigated using existing protocol, presumably per U.S. Air Force 2008 Operations Manual Protocol outlined in Article 5.6.3.3 including by the Maritime Intelligence Operations Center within the Navy's 3rd Fleet. The recently released report from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence confirms the existence of unidentified flying objects and further states that much more needs to be done to research the phenomena, organize data, improve methods of gathering intelligence, training of personnel involved, and a substantial increase in budget allocation. The 2019 sightings are far too similar to the encounter of Navy Commander David Fravers back in 2004 to be dismissed. Footage shot on board Commander Fravers' Super Hornet fighter jet lasted 90 seconds and shows a UAP near the Nimitz destroyer following and mimicking the behavior of Commander Fravers' jet before turning left and disappearing at extreme speed, far exceeding any aircraft capability known to the U.S. Armed Forces, including the F-22 Raptor, in the words of Commander Fravor, as well as the Blackbird SR-71. The two were the fastest fighter and reconnaissance jets known to exist on the planet at the time. So here's what we know. The 2004 encounter and the more recent 2019 sighting were described in near identical terms 
by the witnessing Navy crews. Fifteen years apart, both located a hundred miles off the coast of Southern California, near the exact same location, and both near Navy destroyers. First commercial and electronic drones became available in 2010, and before that, U.S. and Israeli jet fuel drones had existed since the 80s experimentally. They were first used in battle in Iraq in 2004. That we're only now able to label them into a mechanical class of aircraft, namely drones, a class that barely existed in 2004, and designated based on their behavior and limitations, that of an unmanned, remotely controlled aerial vehicle, that still doesn't make the Tic Tacs understood and identifiable as the same class of aircraft. A Tic Tac looking craft that is essentially the shape of a vitamin pill with 360 degrees of smooth surfaces is not capable of creating an airlift that enables their observed maneuvers using technology known to man. A helicopter relies on rotary blades to create lift. The propeller aircraft creates lift by thrusting the air around slightly gull-shaped wings curved on top. A jet engine thrusts air through a tube, also using the physics of curved wing. And then there's the rocket, which basically engages in a controlled explosion, a massive fuel burn directed through a tunnel. Those folks are the flying technologies known to humans, aside from the air balloon. And they all abide by the same laws of physics, distinctly different from the behavior of the Tic Tacs. First, a closed-off cylinder leaves no room for jet exhaust or propeller thrust inside or outside of the shell. Then, let's consider the drone's piloting skills required at minimum visibility conditions under one mile, a few dozen feet above main sea level. Second, in the 2004 sighting, according to Commander Fravor, the Tic Tac he encountered appeared and disappeared from sight at will. It visibly popped in and out of sight. That's even before the recording, when a dogfight ensued between the two. It was further visible and invisible to radar, according to Chief Radar Operator Kevin Day. What that means, in technical terms, is that the object had radar evading systems, or it would have been detected continually. Because radar is not a complicated equipment. It scans the environment by sending radio waves in every direction and collects the signature, relative shape, and distance of any bounce-back signals. Any physical object will return a reflective signature. It means that intelligent actions and technologies were engaged to make them invisible to radar. The third point is their movement. In both Navy instances, the Tic Tacs mimic the movement of the aircraft and the Navy ships they pursued by speed, distance, altitude, and direction. With Commander Fravor's event, the Tic Tac went further by mirroring the Hornet's dogfight, including cutting the circle, a maneuver that involves steep banking designed to cut away from a circle movement and to flip the jet to the opposite direction. The Tic Tac mimicked all of those moves at the exact same time as the Hornet, without a lag, which can only mean it was intelligently controlled, highly skillfully intelligently controlled which means it was observing the fighter jet real-time in order to mirror its movements. The fourth point, however, is the real kicker. Along with the Nimitz aircraft carrier was the missile cruiser USS Princeton, and on board was Chief Radar Operator Kevin Day. He was the one to first see the Tic Tacs on radar and insist they should be tracked. That's what started David Traver's dogfight, as he was already in the air, engaged in a high-fidelity air defense training exercise. After some time, the Tic Tac disappeared to radar and to Fravor's eyes, only to reappear exactly at a so-called cap point, 
a predetermined meeting point for the Nimitz jet fighters during the exercise. Intelligence only known to the fighter squadron and their commanders. Think about what that means for a second. The Tic Tac knew where they would meet before they were there. Which means they knew their exercise plans and layouts. It proves not only intelligence, but that they had an insight into the plans of the military exercise. And of course, they understood the English language, our use of math and navigation. These were by far no anomalous sightings. These tic-tac-shaped vehicles seemed to be present in abundance all across the planet and caught on phone cameras by the public out of airplane windows or from vista points, looking and behaving essentially the same. So let's recognize them for what they are, unidentified flying objects, or if you will, unidentified aerial phenomena. And let's recognize further that they do not follow laws of physics or mechanics currently known to humans. Believing in the logic of Occam's razor, that the simple explanation tends to be the right one, these Tic Tacs are intelligently controlled and they do not belong to mankind, which paints us into a corner in the house of logic, forced to admit the obvious just by following the evidence logically. They are of alien origin, whatever that means, to be discovered. You can watch or listen to this and other podcasts of the Cold Blue series on bluebook.tv. Please check it out. It's free. This has been a Code Blue for all things unexplained and unidentified. Please subscribe. And each day, let's show some compassion and kindness. I am Thor, and thanks for listening. See you next time.